my mom is here with me in the kitchen today to remember my Aunt Lori. And just as much as she loved to cook, she loved to bake. In fact, I think she loved baking even more. She did. She loved sweets, didn't she? Oh, she loved sweets. Obsessed would be the word. She would always say, I'm addicted to sugar. I just can't stop. In fact, whenever she'd come to our houses, she would go rummaging through the pantry for something sweet. So that was what she was known for is her baked goods. And we're gonna make a recipe, Mom, that actually won a competition that she entered it into. And it is her apple pecan coffee cake. And we're gonna make it in a bunt pan, which is, I didn't even have a bunt pan before I recreated this recipe in a healthy way. Um, but it turned out absolutely beautiful. So she did it right. We're just gonna put a few healthy spins on it. So mom, I'm gonna have you kind of dice up this apple. You can okay. peel it if you want to ahead of time, but I actually didn't mind the apple skin being in there. It actually gave it a little bit of texture. So she did peel her apples in the recipe. I just left the skin on, so whatever you like. And you can just do little bite-sized chunks. Okay. To do the batter for this, I have two cups of oat flour here. And then I'm gonna add one and a half cup of sweetener. And she did use one and a half cup of white sugar. So instead I used a monk fruit sweetener to make it a little bit lighter. Then we have a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. A half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon. And this was all exactly as her recipe called for. One cup of applesauce, and in her recipe, she called for one cup of oil. So we're replacing one cup of oil. She used canola oil. So this is definitely gonna be lighter. And you can't even tell that it's applesauce versus oil. Have you ever baked with applesauce? Your recipes, and I can't tell the difference. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think sometimes people think, oh no, it won't be the same unless I use the butter and the oil and the sugar. But really, there are so many great ways to make alternatives and you really can't tell in the recipe. Then we have one third cup of maple syrup. And you can use organic maple syrup. You could even use agave or honey for this recipe. And then we just have four eggs. And those apples are looking good, Mom. You might want to chop them just a little, a little more bite size. Okay. Um, just some of the bigger pieces, just All right. so that when you bite into the coffee cake, you're not getting a massive chunk of apple. Okay. So, Mom, do you have any great memories of Aunt Lori? I have so many great memories. You know, um, one of the memories that I have is just her gift giving whether it was making homemade soup for someone and she'd put them in a mason jar and sometimes it would be a little surprise, she'd leave them on someone's porch. But most often she'd like to come with a gift and spend time with you because that was really her love language was time spent. And I love spending time with her. Um, it was always laughter and telling stories. Mm -hmm. and But she just had the gift of not only gift loving giving, people. <laughs> loving people well, but just uh, she loved spending time with people. I think that's your it's gift true. too, time spent. Uh, well, I would say that, that even more so that's you. I mean, when I think about you guys, my mom is my Aunt Lori's younger sister, and I just could see how they were truly best friends. Because when they were together, I mean, they were just two peas in a pod. So every time I think of Aunt Lori, I also think of you. Aww. And I think that that was just the way that her heart loved people and the way that she loved Jesus. And you portray the same thing. So I believe Thanks, you really Kate. are carrying on a huge part of that legacy, Mom. Thanks, Kate. And you just want three cups of apples. So mom, those are looking great. It Thanks. looks like we have enough there okay. that we can add to this batter now. So once you start mixing the batter, you can kind of add the apples towards the end, just like with chocolate chips in a recipe where you kind of just stir them in. So mom, I'll have you add some of these okay. to the bowl and we can do it together. And if you don't have a bun pan at home, you're like me, um, then you can just use a regular cake pan or even a springform pan and just put a mason jar or an oven safe cup in the middle because what a bunt pan essentially does is that if you ever have a cake that tends to fall in the middle, it just prevents the falling, the sinking in the middle. So you just need something kind of sturdy and oven safe in the middle and it'll turn out great. So mom, I'm just gonna fold in these apples and then I'm gonna pop it into the oven at 325 degrees for about 50 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So it does bake for quite a while. In your house, 
will smell like fall when you put this into the oven. And it just made me smile when I put it into the oven because I just thought of my Aunt Lori and how proud she would have been baking this cake.